Hi everybody, today let's look at multiplications of two matrices. If A is a M by A matrix, it means that the order of matrix A is M by A. So this is matrix A. And B is a B by N matrix. The order of matrix B is B by N. The A, B only exists if this number and this number the same. It means that the number of column for the first matrix and the number of row for the second matrix. If they are the same, then we can find A, B. If these two are different, A, B does not exist. Okay, let me give you an example. If I have a matrix A, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and I have matrix B, 2, 1. The order for this matrix is 2 by 2. We have 2 row, 2 column. And the order for this matrix B is 1, 1 row, 2 column, right? If I ask you to find a, B. The order for matrix A is 2 by 2. The order for matrix B is 1 by 2. You will notice that these two numbers, the number of the column for the first matrix and the number of the row for the second matrix, they are different. If they are different, A, B does not exist. We cannot find the product of AB. How about if I change this, uh, if I do it another way? If I ask you to find BA, is that possible? Let's see. The order of B is 1 by 2. The order of matrix A is 2 by 2. This time, the number of column for the first matrix and the number of row for the second matrix, they are the same. So we can perform BA. We can find the product of BA. And we know we also know that the final answers, our product, will have an order of 1 by 2. Okay? The matrix A, M by A, matrix B, B by uh, N. If these two difference, we cannot find the product. The product does not exist. If these two are the same, we can find the product. And the final answer, the product will have the order of M by N. Okay, now let's see a few examples here. The order here for the first matrix, this is 1 by 2. And this is 2 by 1. We know that our final answer will have the order of 1 by 1. One row, one column. Okay, how about this one? This is 2 by 2, right? 2 row, 2 column. And this is 2 row, 1 column. 2 row, 2 by 1. 2 by 1. Now we know that our final answer will be 2 by 1. It means that 2 row, 1 column. To row one column. Okay, you can try on C and D. It's actually not that hard. First thing, we want to determine whether the two multiplications, uh, whether the two matrices can be multiplied together. Normally, if the question comes up in the exam, uh, the, uh, the multiplication must, uh, should be able to perform. We, we can find product. And second, we need to know the order of our final answer. Okay, now let's look at a few examples. Okay, now let's look at example number 19, part A. Find the product of each of the following. Okay, let's try part A. This is 2 by 1, right? 2 by 1, the order for the first matrix. And this is 1 by 2, 1 by 2. You notice that the number of column for the first matrix and the number of row for the second matrix, they are the same. We can uh, find the product. The order for the product will be 
in this order two by two okay so at the beginning uh, I will suggest you to write a template for the final answer first it means that two by two right you just simply write uh, a b c d so that later on easier for you to determine where to place uh, the element okay now let's start to find the product so I would suggest you to draw two line horizontal line and vertical line horizontal line for the first matrix and vertical line for the second matrix this is the first row right this is the second column Oh, sorry this is the first row this is the first column so it means that when we multiply these two numbers together we have to write at the position of first row first column which is here 3 times negative 1 negative 3 okay now I still uh, find I still keep this line but now the second matrix I change the line uh, vertical line to this number first row second column first row second column it means that I have to place the element not here this is a second row first column now we are uh, finding the element for the first row second column which is here 3 times 4 equal to 12 okay now let's do the second column first oh sorry second row first column okay two times negative one second row first column which is here two times negative one negative two second row second column which is here two times four you will get eight okay so this is the final answer for this part you can actually use your calculator to help you if let's say you want to perform uh, you want to find the product of two matrices using your calculator or you want to check your answer first press this menu then go to matrix press equal define matrix now I have two matrix here I will just let this matrix uh, the first matrix be matrix A I press 1 uh, the calculator will ask you how many row we have two row right two row press two how many column one column and you will get the template like this two by one matrix what we need to do is just key in all the number all the element three two three equal two equal okay now the calculator remember this matrix a press options we go to define another matrix press 1 matrix B how many row we have here one row how many column two column then you will get the template for the matrix B negative 1 4 negative 1 equal 4 equal okay now we already key in two matrices in our calculator calculator uh, remember it so matrix A and matrix B press the option again now we go to matrix calculation or uh, matrix calculation press 3 press option we want to take the matrix A times option matrix B okay then what we need to do the next just press equal and the calculator will show us the answer negative 3 can you see it negative 3 12 negative 2 8 so this is the way how we use the calculator to help us find uh, to help us check the answer let's try part B so the first matrix here 2 by 2 2 row 2 column the second matrix here 2 row first uh, two row one column we know our answer must be in this order two by one two by one it means that we have two row and we have only one column 
Okay, since we already know the order of, of our uh, final answer, so we can get the answer easily. Draw two line, horizontal line for the first matrix, vertical line for the second matrix. First row, first column. We want to write our element here. 1 times 3 will give you 3. 5 times 4, you will get positive 20. Okay, now let's move to second row. Second row, first column, it means here, right? 2 times 3, 6. Negative 3 times 4, negative 12. If you don't want to do it this way, you actually can do it this way. Some students like to do it this way. For example, like 1 times 3, 3 then plus, 5 times 4, 20. Okay, this one no problem. For this part, uh, some students do it this way. 2 times 3, you will get 6. Then they write the plus sign first. Negative 3 times 4 you will get negative 12. But th this is the same thing because positive, negative, eventually you will get negative as well. So if you don't want to write this way, you feel that it will uh, make you confused, you can just write this way. Both will give you the correct answer. Three plus 20, 23. Six minus 12, negative six. Okay, this is our final answer. If you want to use your calculator to help you check the answer, press option. Okay, now we go to refine again the matrix. Press one. Let this one be matrix A. Press one. Do row, do column. Okay, now we have a template. What we need to do is just key in all these elements inside here. One, 5, 2, negative 3. Okay, make sure you key in all the elements correctly. Then press options. We are going to refine, uh, define another matrix. This time, matrix B, the second matrix. Do row, one column. Okay, so 3, 4, 3, Okay, press option again, matrix calculation, press 3, option, choose the matrix A, 3, times option, matrix B. So now calculator know that you want to find the product of A, B, press equal, you will get the answer, 23, negative 6. Okay, now let's try part D. The order for this matrix is 2 by 3. And the order for this matrix is 3 by 2. These two same number, right? So we can perform the multiplication. We can find the product. We know that our final answer, our product will be 2 by 2. A, B, C, D. So this is the template for our final answer. Draw two lines to help you uh, to solve these questions. When you have the two line, it's actually easier for you to get the answer. Row, column. First row, first column. So I'm going to write at the position of uh, here. Zero times four will give you zero. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1. 3 times 6, 18. Okay. Now, we change the positions. First row, still first row, but now second column. It means that we have right over here. Here, not here. Okay, first row, second column. 0 times negative 2, you get 0. Negative 1 times 0, 
is 0 as well. 3 times negative 3, negative 9. Now let's go to second row, first column. Second row, first column, it means that we have right here. 2 times 4, you will get 2 times 4, 8. 4 times 1, positive 4. 5 times 6, positive 30. Let's go to last element. Second row, second column, it means here. 2 times negative 2, negative 4. 4 times 0, 0. 5 times negative 3, negative 15. Okay, next we just find the sum or the subtractions. Negative 1 plus 18, you will get 17. This is negative 9. This is uh, 42. This is negative 19. Okay, so if you want to check by using a calculator, you can try and see. You will get exactly the same answer. Okay, let's try one more. This is 3 by 3, right? 3 by 3. This is 3 by 2. We know our answer will have this order. 3 by 2. 3 by 2, it means that 3 row, 2 column. A, B, C, D, E, F. We have 3 row, 2 column. First matrix, we draw horizontal line. Second matrix, we draw vertical line. First row, first column here. 1 times 4, 4. 4 times negative 1, negative 4. 0 times 7, 0. First row, second column. Don't write here. First row, second column is over here. Refer to this template. 1 times 3, 3. 4 times 0, 0. 0 times 2, you will get 0 as well. Okay. Now, we go to second row, first column. Second row, first column is over here. This. 6 times 4, 24. Negative 2 times negative 1, positive 2. 3 times 7, 21. Okay, now let's go to second column. Second row, second column, which is here. 6 times 3, 18. Negative 2 times 0, you will get 0. 3 times 2, you will get 6. Okay, now third row, first column, which is over here. 4, 4, 16, 5 times negative 1, negative 5. Okay, this will give you 1 times 7, 7. Let's go to last element. Third row, second column, which is here. 4, 3, 12. 5, 0, you will get 0. 1 times 2, you will get 2. Okay. So this will give you 0. This one you just press the calculator. This is 3. This is 24. Oh, this is 18. And the last one is 14. Okay, so this is the way how we perform the multiplications between two matrices. Let's try another one. So now we have two matrix, uh, two matrices here. M is equal to this, N is equal to this. The question asks us to find M, N, and N, M. And then the part B, we want to determine whether the M, N is equal to N, M. Let's find M, N first. M, 3, 
negative 2, 4, 0. And 1, 5, 0, negative 3. Okay. This is 2 by 2. This is 2 by 2. We know that our answer, the order of our answer will be 2 by 2, right? A, B, C, V. So at the beginning, I will suggest you to write a template for your answer first. But once you have been very familiar with this type of, an, uh, this type of question, you don't have to do like this. First row, first column, which is here. 3, 1, you get 3. Negative 2 times 0, you will get 0. Now we go to second column. First row, second column, not here, not this one. First row, second column is this. So we have to write over here. 3, 5, 15. Negative 2 times negative 3 will give you positive 6. Now let's go to the second row, first column. Second row, first column, here. 4, 1, 4. 0 times 0 will give you 0. Okay, let's go to the last element. Second row, second column, which is here. 4, 5, 20. 0 times negative 3, you will get 0. Okay. So this is 3, 4, 21, 20. Okay. Now let's try NM. NM. N is 1, 5, 0, negative 3. M is 3, negative 2, 4, 0. This is 2 by 2. This is 2 by 2. We know that the order of our final answer will be 2 by 2 as well, which is this one. The template is still the same. Draw, uh, draw two lines. Horizontal line for the first matrix, vertical line for the second matrix. These two lines are going to help you a lot uh, to determine the correct answer. 1 times 3, I give you 3, 5, 4, 20. First row, second column, 1 times negative 2, negative 2, 5 times 0, you get 0. Now let's change it uh, to second row, first column, which is here, not here, okay, here. 0 times 3, you will get 0. Negative 3 times 4, negative 12. Second row, second column, which is here. 0 times negative 2, 0. Negative 3 times 0, you will get 0 as well. Next, we just find the sum and the subtractions. So this will give you 23, this will give you negative 2, negative 12, and 0. Okay, so do you notice that M N is not equal to N M. Don't get confused with this one. So some students thought that uh, these two are actually equal. They are not equal. So it's different from this. 3 times 2 is equal to 2 times 3, right? But when you go to the matrices, it's different. Okay, so that's all for this video. Uh, I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.